it's time for another bank switching offer and it is the return of a deal from santander just a month or two after the last one finished this one is for 175 pounds it is 10 pounds less than the deal that ran just for a few weeks in march and 25 pounds less than the offer that ran in 2023 so sadly diminishing returns but 175 quid is still pretty good if you haven't taken advantage already plus there is a way to get an extra 15 quid ish on top of that and taking advantage of some of the features from the accounts could also net you more money over the year on top of that as well so what i'm going to do is take you through all the different uh components if you want to read more about this don't forget you can head over to be clever with your cash.com where a full analysis of this deal is available and all the details so as we said the bonus is for 175 quid now uh this is a relatively straightforward deal to be getting but before we get into what you need to do there it's just worth touching on that potential extra 15 quid that you can get and to get this you have to go via a cashback site at the time of recording it it's 15 pounds for me on top cashback it's showing 16 quid for me on quidco uh, that might be because of a premium member there so that might drop down to 15 as well but certainly these rates can change on a daily basis so when you are going to apply first of all see which one of those is going to pay you the most of them and go via that click from quidco or top cashback to the santander site and then apply for the account as worth just reminding you as well if you haven't already uh joined or used either of those sites there are a number of welcome bonuses out there potentially as much as 20 quid uh, that's on offer from becleveryourcash.com if you sign up via the links on our site uh, but you won't get that in conjunction with this Santander offer because you need to have a minimum spend but certainly sign up via those links uh, do a shop you know spend £10, £15, whatever it is the offer says get your bonus for that and then click through again and do the Santander offer so that's your first step an extra 15 quid maybe more then it's about uh, you're on the Santander site what do you do well let's start off assuming you are a new customer a brand new customer you do not have a Santander current account at the moment, uh, then you've got a choice of three different accounts that you can open brand new. The Edge, the Edge Up, or the private current account. We're not going to focus on the private current account here because most people aren't going to be in the market for that one. It's really your choice of the Edge or the Edge Up. Now, both of these accounts uh, offer cash back on your bills, which is really good. And I've covered that in a lot more detail to help you decide which one is best for you. Uh, but if you aren't already a customer, let's say you're a brand new customer, I would definitely suggest going for that Edge current account because that is the cheaper of the two. Sadly, both those accounts come with a monthly fee. The Edge is £4 a month. The Edge up is £5 a month. Uh, but the Edge, I think, is perfectly fine for getting cash back on those bills. Now, that will actually, hopefully, as long as you are paying the bills, cover most of that fee and give you a little bit of profit on top. You'll also get access to an Edge Saver current account only with the Edge current account, not the Edge Up current account. Saying Edge far too much, aren't I? But sadly, that's what they all call the products are called. That is paying, say, 7% on the first £4,000 you have saved in the account. So that is a nice little bit extra on top of this after the cashback on your bills, after that cashback replying, and after the switch bonus we're talking about. So that's what I would go for the Edge over the Edge Up. Sadly, unlike previous offers, you are not able to get the uh, everyday account which was the free account that one has been removed from the offer so you have to pay for one of the accounts in order to uh, qualify for this now once you have opened up that new account you have to switch from a different bank and that also means that you cannot switch from Santander accounts you can also not switch from uh, Kahoot which is another Santander uh, owned brand I don't think many people are going to have a current account with them to do that so really make sure you're switching from a different bank and as with all these switching offers, it means that old current account will close completely. Again, covered how switching works and some of the tricks and tips you can do for that uh, in plenty more contents you've read to find out on bigcleveryourcash.com on the YouTube channel or on previous episodes of the podcast. So if you're new to this, you know, do go there and find that information. Once that switch is set up, uh, it's really important you do this obviously within 60 days of uh, starting the switch, the account that has to happen. You've got a couple of other things you need to do within those 60 days because basically at the end of that 60 day period they're going to check you've met the criteria one of those is to deposit 1500 pounds it can be in one go 1500 pounds goes in doesn't have to stay there you can take it straight back out or it can be smaller amounts either across those 60 days just making sure you've hit a total cumulative total of 1500 pounds in that first 60 days or uh, it could be you put in 500 pounds you take it straight back out you put it back in you take it straight back out you put it back in so three lots of 500 already have a combination you like of that doesn't have to stay there uh, it doesn't have to be in one go. So that's a relatively easy one for everyone to do. Uh, you also have to set up two direct debits. Now, these have to be active direct debits at the time when they assess your account at 60 days after starting the switching process. 
Uh, and that means they don't have to be in your old account. You don't have to transfer them across. Now, because this is an account, which is, I think, obviously the edge account, you want to get cash back on your bills, as long as you aren't getting it elsewhere, then uh, there are obviously some really easy direct debits. You can either move over as part of your switch if they're on the old account, or if they're on a different account, you can just manually change the details or potentially do a partial switch as well. It might get a bit complicated there, but transfer those direct debits because you want your council tax, your energy, your TV, your mobile, all those things coming out of here to earn that cash back. If, however, you don't uh, want to move any of those across or you don't have them, uh, then there are obviously some simple ones you can set up, which I've covered again in plenty more detail about these quick and easy direct debits. Because the important thing here is the active, it needs to have been paid out of the new account by the time uh, that 60 days is up, which means most of the time you're going to be fine, especially if you do it as soon as you open the account, you've got plenty of time to set it up and have the money go out. But if you are rushing this for whatever reason, then do look at some of those quicker ones that come through. And that's pretty much it. After 60 days, they will assess everything and then another 30 days after that, or within 30 days, you'll get paid that money. So you have to keep the account open and pay in that monthly fee until you have received that money. Now, once you have received that money, if you don't want to keep the account open, perhaps you aren't taking advantage of the cashback or that savings rate, you can then close the account down completely or perhaps a better thing to do is to uh, just change it down to their uh, everyday account, the free account. You lose all the perks, but you've got one there sitting there, which is quite handy. It's a dummy account for you to use switching to other banks in the future. So that's a new customer. What if you're an existing customer? Yes, existing customers can get this offer, but uh, you will have to, you can do all the things like I've just detailed just now. All those things have to be done already. So £1,500 have to go into the account. Uh, you have to switch from a different bank. You have to have the two direct debits active after 60 days, all those kind of things probably relatively easy to set up. Where it might be a little bit more complicated as an existing customer is in the past, I'm not 100% sure if this is still the case, but you know, have a look, let me know in the comments if this is still the case. In the past, existing customers have had to go into branch to start the switch. They've not been able to do it online. Now, uh, that could be frustrating because you might have to book an appointment to do that. Uh, and you don't want to sit around for this because these offers often go pretty quickly. So if that's you, go and do that. There is a workaround which isn't as easy as it was in previous iterations of this offer. And that was to simply open up a different account. So I did that in the past years ago. We had the 123 Lite account, sadly no longer available to new customers. But when I took advantage of this offer, I just opened up a new everyday account, got my money, simple as that. Now, this time, because that everyday account has finished, and you, if you've already got the Edge or the Edge Up or any other account, you will have to open up the other one of the two. Uh, and that was going to cost you money, particularly say you're earning cash back on another bill elsewhere. But you can do that. You could apply for a brand new account and go through that whole process. And then you can do it easy on the app or online banking uh, without having to go into branch. Uh, just the downside is obviously you are going to be paying that additional fee. There are obviously some criteria though, which are, are really important here to know about. And the big one here is that you cannot have already had a bonus from Santander in the past for switching. Where we were a new or existing customer, Sally, if you had the money before, that will rule you out. And that includes people who are still waiting for money from the offer that ran earlier this year. You know, that doesn't count. You've applied for the account through that deal. So therefore, uh, when that money does come through, because remember it can take 90 days, uh, then the likelihood is that will kind of cancel you out. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind is, is you only get this once as well. So there is no hack to do this from both a single uh, solo account and a joint account. It's just once per person. Uh, so I would just do this on your own account. Don't try and faff around with joint accounts. If you've got two of you, do two offers, get two lots of the cash. Now, what we don't know is when this offer is going to end. As I mentioned, the offer that ran in March ran for just a couple of weeks. I think it was something like 18 days. And the offer last year in 2023, that disappeared in a similar time, roughly two and a half weeks. If the same thing is to happen with this particular offer, then we are looking at this finishing before the end of May. So again, if you are keen to get this, it is not one to sit around on, it is to get moving uh, very, very quickly, at least in terms of starting that switch. You have to st open the account or if you're an existing account holder, you need to start that switch before the offer ends, but you've still got those 60 days to do all the other things and put the money in the direct debits and so on. Uh, but yeah, so don't hang around if you are keen to get this. Remember, you can head to becleverwithyourcash.com forward slash banks with details on this and all the other current bank switching offers. My name is Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these videos here for more ways to make the most for your bank.